you know, there's certain things in your life that, that just kind of stick with you, with you. Things you'll always remember. I can remember being five years old. And we lived on a corner lot. Uh, and both the roads that came by our house were a dead end. So nobody drove down those roads. So we uh, rode our bicycles all the time on those roads. And there were a lot of kids in the neighborhood. One of the things we really liked to do, because nobody was ever on the roads, was we liked to set up ramps road and we would jump and see how far we could jump our limits of ramps. Then we would take a stick and we would mark how far we jumped. And then for some odd idea, odd reason, we thought it was a great idea to lay down between the ramp and the stick and jump one another because that made it that much more exciting. And because I was the youngest and the dumbest, I was on the end and I was okay. And for, amazingly enough, I've never had a broken bone. And I don't think I ever got landed on one where I got my head on the head. I don't know. So I remember being uh, 9 and 10 years old and uh, playing football in the yard with my dad and my brothers. Daddy was always the quarterback. And one of us was the receiver. And the other two played defense. And we'd get in the huddle, and Daddy would hold the football, and he would draw out the play on the foot. That was the play you were running. He had a famous saying that he always told us, you're either going to catch it or eat it. You catch the ball or you eat the ball because it's coming at you. And that's since, ever since that, I've always uh, loved football. loved it through high school. Still love it to this day. I remember being 14 years old playing down at my friend's house and got on the top of the heaven. Uh, we were sitting there talking. It was August 25th, 1997. And I got to talking about hell, and it hit me like a back truck. And I was not a Christian. And I was not right with the Lord. And it scared me to death. And I jumped on my bike, and I rode home as fast as I could, only to find that mom and daddy were not there. They were out walking. I jumped on my bike, and I went around as fast as I possibly could. Because I knew how they always walked, what, where they always walked. I went and found them, and I told them I would be baptized. I got home as soon as Jackson Drive, I was baptized that day. I remember being 17 and 18 and wondering if I knew uh, who I was going to marry and if I'd even met the person I had at that time. I had not uh, met Tiffany at that point in time. I remember being 22. September 10th, 2005. I better not have to look at that day. I better know that one by heart. That was the day that me and Tiffany got married. I remember walking out on the beach and we got married out on the beach for a small wedding and the sand was still kind of hot even though it was in September. I had to shuffle my feet down in the sand to get down to some cooler sand so that my feet wouldn't be burned. I waited for two weeks to walk down the aisle. And I stood there beside Jeff Bay. I remember Destiny and Tinley being born. Uh, both of them. Uh, and now Destiny is eight years old and Tinley is four years old. I've given you a bunch of facts and you're probably sitting there thinking, what do these have to do with how do these things have anything in common? And to be completely honest, they don't really have hardly anything in common at all except for one thing. All of them feel like they happened yesterday. Every single one of them I can remember like they were yesterday and they felt like they happened yesterday. If you will, turn to James 4. I know all you know what I'm turning to. James 4. Verse 13 and 14. It says, come now, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for it is, is what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Our life truly, truly is a vapor. I remember when I was younger talking to those that were older than me, that had kids or grandkids even, and me, them telling me, Life just gets faster and faster. When I was 12 years old, at different times in my life, I thought, that's a long ways away. 12 years old was 20 years ago. It feels like just yesterday. Our life truly is a vapor. And with this vapor, with this short life that we have, we really have two decisions, or two lives that we can live. Turn to Proverbs 16.
Proverbs 16. Read verses 18, 19, and 20. It said, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better to be, hum be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He who heeds the word wisely and will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. We really see two different things there. There's those that will be pride. Those that will use the short time that they have here on this line, and they'll never get past that very first word of pride. They'll live their life however they want to. They'll do the things that they want to. Never concerned about what's after this line. But for those of us that love the Lord, that know that after this life is the one that we really, really can't wait to live, the one in eternity with God, we know that we need, as this passage says, as if we'll humble ourselves, if we'll heed the word, if we'll look into his word and heed his word, we'll find good and do good that, uh, to others and do, do good for the Lord, and we'll trust in him. It's as happy as he. Happy is he not only here on this earth, but most of all, happy is he all the time. So, if you would, turn over to 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 10. We'll end with this passage. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 10. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Whether good or bad, we have just a small amount of time on this earth. And those of you that may be younger may be thinking, I've got plenty of time here. He goes a lot faster than you think. I'm 32 now, the Lord gives me another 30, 40 years, I know how fast that's going to go. Or I think I have an idea, but it's going to go that much faster. I was told when I had three kids, but that much faster have just a short amount of time of vapor. And how you choose to live that, that vapor, that small amount of time that you have, you spend all eternity, you'll answer to the Lord at the judgment seat. That'll, that'll uh, decide where you spend eternity forever. So tonight, if you haven't become a Christian, or if you have become a Christian and you've fallen away, and you need to make a public confession, or you need to make your life right and become a Christian, please do that right now as we stand and as we sing.